Cisania goes to the fire. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel of July the 27, 2021, according to St. Matthew. Another parable he put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your, seed, in your field? How, how then does it have tares? The Cisania. He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants said to him, Do you want us to go after them and gather them up? But he said, No. Lest while you gather up the tares, the Cisania, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather together the tares, the Cisania, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. The tares, the Cisania. If you were to go to Israel and look at the tares, the Cisania, alongside the wheat, I'm sure that 95 or 99% of us would not know the difference. When I was growing up, I remember thinking that Cisania, the tares, would be some sort of like spiny things. You could look at them and you would say, yeah, those are weeds, those are no good. But you see, in Israel, in Palestine, those weeds, those tares, those Cisania, are exactly the same way, except they have no fruit. They bear no fruit. So if you want to know if you are Cisania, then look at yourself, at your own life, with the eyes of God, and ask yourself, be ready to present before God the fruits you, that you have produced. And the fruits are not your prayers, are not whether you dress in black or you have a cross in your chest. The fruits that you might have corresponds to the judgment of God, chapter 25 of Matthew, when he says, For I hungered, and you fed me. I thirsted, and you satiated me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was a foreigner, and you received me in your house. I was ill, and you tended me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Whether you have done it today, not one day many years ago, not that you're planning to do it sometime, no, have you done it today? Whether you have done it, and you keep on the good costume of doing it every day, of the habit of doing it every day, at least something, then you are all set. But if you're not, if only by your prayers you think that you will be saved, if only because you go and you go to the divine liturgy or to your mass or whatever it is that you go, you're going to be saved, you are absolutely wrong. We have to produce. Otherwise, we are Cisania. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.